Today I'll be reading a few of Lucille Clifton's poems, the ones that stuck out to me, specifically poems about being a woman and periods, which who doesn't want to talk about periods? So today is Friday, it's about 8.15 in the morning and I decided that I was gonna do a morning reads with you guys. And I think I'm gonna make this a more consistent thing on my channel where I come on in the morning and I read with you guys because I do read in the mornings. I like to either read self-help books or poetry, something to kinda like ease me into the day. And today I will be reading to you a few of Lucille Clifton's poems. And if you don't know who Lucille Clifton is, she was a really popular writer and professor back in the late 1900s and early 2000s. She died in 2010 and she's really popular in the black community. She is a poet of many words. And I recently bought her book of collected poems, which I could not wait to get. As you can see, I have many, many favorites. I got introduced to Lucille Clifton through Gloria Deem's Well Read Black Girl, and I fell in love with her. Her poetry was so to the point. It was honest, it was short, which I love. I love when poems are not too long because I can understand them and consume them. After researching her, reading some more of her poetry, I started watching YouTube videos of her reciting her poetry, and I was in awe of her. So hopefully I do her some justice, maybe I'll include some clips of her poetry within this video so you can kind of see what I'm talking about. Today I'll be reading a few of Lucille Clifton's poems, the ones that stuck out to me, specifically poems about being a woman, about being a black woman, and periods, which who doesn't want to talk about periods? Well, I'm pretty sure a lot of people don't want to talk about that, but we're going to talk about it today. Day. So this first one is called Homage to My Hair. When I feel her jump up and dance, I hear the music. My God, I'm talking about my nappy hair. She's a challenge to your hand, black man. She's as tasty on your tongue as good greens, black man. She can touch your mind with her electric fingers. And the grayer she do get, good God, the blacker she do be. Need I say more? Need I say more? Homage to my hips. These hips are big hips. They need space to move around in. They don't fit into little petty places. These hips are free hips. They don't like to be held back. These hips have never been enslaved. They go where they want to go. They do what they want to do. These hips are mighty hips. These hips are magic hips. I have known them to put a spell on a man and spin him like a top. These hips are big hips. They need space to move around in. They don't fit into little petty places. These hips are free hips. They don't like to be held back. These hips have never been enslaved. They go where they want to go. They do what they want to do. These hips are mighty hips. These hips are magic hips. I have known them to put a spell on a man and to spin him like a top. What? This next poem is called Female. There's an Amazon in us. She is the secret we do not have to learn, the strength that opens us beyond ourselves. Birth is our birthright. We smile our mysterious smile. That one is pretty good too. Okay, so these next few poems are all about periods. And I know the women watching can relate to these poems most likely. Men, I don't think you can relate to them 100%, but it might give you a new perspective. This one is called Poem in Praise of Menstruation. Mm. If there is a river more beautiful than this, bright as the blood, red edge of the moon, 
If there is a river more faithful than this, returning each month to the same delta, if there is a river braver than this, coming and coming in a surge of passion, of pain, if there is a river more ancient than this, daughter of Eve, mother of Cain, and of Abel, if there is in the universe such a river, if there is somewhere water more powerful than this wild water, pray that it flows also through animals, beautiful and faithful and ancient and female and brave. Poem to my uterus. You, uterus, you have been patient as a sock while I have slippered into you my dead and living children. Now they want to cut you out. Stocking I will not need. Where I am going? Where am I going, old girl, without you? Uterus, my bloody print, my estrogen kitchen, my black bag of desire. Where can I go, barefoot, without you? Where can you go without me? To my last period. Well, girl, goodbye. After 38 years, 38 years and you never arrived, splendid in your red dress without trouble for me somewhere, somehow. Now it is done and I feel just like the grandmothers who, after the hussy has gone, sit holding her photograph and sighing, wasn't she beautiful? Wasn't she beautiful? This one is called Wishes for Sons. And this one has to do with periods too, actually. I wish them cramps. I wish them a strange town and the last tampon. I wish them no 7-Eleven. I wish them one week early and wearing a white skirt. I wish them one week late. Later, I wish them hot flashes and clots like you wouldn't believe. Let the flashes come when they meet someone special. Let the clots come when they want to. Let them think they have accepted arrogance in this universe. Then bring them to gynecologists not unlike themselves. Hopefully, if you didn't know Lucille Clifton before this, you now know. And I hope you enjoyed those poems. I enjoy them a lot. They are some of my favorite poems that I go back to in this book. I'm not finished with it yet. There's over 700 pages in this book, so there's so much more to read. But she has become one of my favorite authors and writers and poets of all time. So not only did I want to share my favorite poems with you guys, but I also wanted to remind you of how important it is to continue to read books by authors from the past because their experiences are experiences that we can all learn from, especially for me, someone who's black, to read the writings by black authors who are now past is history for me and it allows me to relate to them and to connect and to feel like my voice is heard so but all in all i hope you enjoyed this video i hope you enjoyed this poetry by the one and only lucille clifton and i'll be seeing you guys in my next video bye this is called sorrows who would believe them winged who would believe they could be beautiful? Who would believe they could fall so in love with mortals that they would attach themselves as scars attach and ride the skin? Sometimes we hear them in our dreams, rattling their skulls, clicking their bony fingers. They have heard me beseeching as I whispered into my own cupped hands, enough, not me again. But who can distinguish one human voice amid such choruses of desire? Thank you. <laughs>